Alright, welcome back guys. This episode is going to be recorded on the same day as the previous one. Um, so, we're just going to jump right back into where we were. Oh, nice. Cool. Um, I'm not going to go in there just yet. I'm just going to go get my ship now. Because I want I want to I want to actually get some of the story done. I want to learn more about these uh these aliens, these brats, I think they were called. I might pick up some of the more quests while we're here, but I'm not going to advance them. Ready to see what Tan until later. I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Oh, cool, it's got the name on the back. I never noticed that before. Let's go take a closer look. At least someone's Let's excited. pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What? Why? What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold oh, it, hold so. it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. I didn't do it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Smooth. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Yeah, we'll tell that to the Nexus leadership. They seem to disagree. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. See, like, no, I, nobody likes them. I don't even think they like them. Also, I don't really care if Director Addison wants a full purview of my ship or whatever. She can go take a fly and go fuck herself. Man, this uh, this loading is taking a while. I might uh, might take this out. I don't know, but then I'd have to take out that joke. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear, lesser crew, of course, the best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. She seems familiar. Wasn't she on the Ark? The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. 
We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. This is gonna be tough, but it's gonna be an adventure. It's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Should. So, uh, yeah, this is the this is the ship. This is all of it, all of it up here. You know, that's the bridge. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. <sighs> the meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table, or just get the crew together. And then this is, I think, botany. I was completely wrong. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Some serious kill over here. That's Liam. We got a strike team thing, like the one on the Nexus. This is for. Um, serious kill over here. Yes, you keep saying that. Um, this is for like when you get level ups to the viability of Andromeda, you get perks. And this is the research lab. Not sure why it's not on. Oh, and you can buy things too. Or sell them. We got a piranha. We got weapons, basically. That that's all we really need to know right now. Right now, I'm just I'm just I'm not gonna talk to the crew, really. I'm just gonna go do what we need to do. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jap. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Well, then you picked the wrong person. I mean, really. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. I bet you are. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? I mean, going across the galaxies was big We too. signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. That was entirely Can lackluster response. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring so stations look fine. It. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Uh, well, we're the Nexus. Let's I never talk. planned to be Pathfinder. I don't know what's out there. But we're the Milky Way's best and brightest. We can do this. At least he's honest. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Oh my god, it can actually fly. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Don't you tell me how fast to do this. You are here. Helios, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe um, we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. We didn't even go anywhere yet. What do you mean, take us in? system 
Pythias, Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1, designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step, until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Really? Yeah. Let's, let's do my own thing first, explore. Um, in the future I may not examine systems like this while recording, but for now, since this is the first time, I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. This is basically all it is. You fly to each planet, you scan them, and then you explore the system. Sometimes you find things, sometimes you just learn interesting things about the planets. Um, sometimes systems have anomalies, sometimes they don't. Sometimes planets have anomalies, sometimes they don't. That's anomaly about it. See, this planet's got an anomaly. And uh, it looks like it's some kind of metal deposit. Probe away. So, Tracking I think we get resources from this. Yeah, we got beryllium. That's basically the gist of it. So, I mean, it's not the most exciting thing, but... Um, Sometimes you do find interesting things, like you, you learn a little bit interesting about the life that managed to develop despite the odds. Stuff like that, I mean, some, it is really interesting sometimes. But uh, sometimes it's just uh, not really that interesting, because like this one just, it's a gas giant made of hydrogen that may have had cat visitors. And that's about it. That's really about it. See, this one I think is one of the more interesting ones. I think is this one. Yeah, it's got primitive chlorine-based life. Probably. See, something like that. That's interesting. Satellite detected. And here's a satellite. We get Milky Way research data for it because it's a Milky Way satellite. And now we're going to EOS. Home of. Um, a mirror radiation. of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat uh, 7, no doubt we'll, we'll run into the cat. We done talking now? Can we go? Um, I am going to just do this real quick. Uh, I thought we had more pistols. Um, no, but we have a different assault rifle. Um. I think I'll change out my assault rifle if it look uh no. Um you know what? I'll give it a try. And then I'm ah oh, shoot, Shooting I forgot up. to pick the people. Ready, buddy. Hope we're all there ready. Oh well. Got what it. I really wanted to do was get all right. veteran instead of Liam. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I know this is shit. It said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. Space. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead, they saw their friends die. Babies. Never know how that'll affect. Sorry. You okay? Uh, well, the uncertainty we ends with us. We didn't come millions of light years to die in a different place. I'm not letting the initiative down. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. That's good. Be very problematic if it wasn't good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. I'm going to assume like 600 years or something like that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? fiery crash this time. Guess those adhesive ducks paid off. There. Set us down at this nav point. Uh... 
Oh god, don't tell me it froze. Thank goodness. I thought it did. That's not the same helmet I had before. Well, how to even this start? This looks nice. Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. Oh yeah, that's uh... They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. If they didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make EO's own. You guys done talking? Can I talk now? Okay. Those, uh... Those out there are uh, radiation shield pylons. As long as we don't go outside those, we won't die horribly from radiation poisoning. And if we do, we'll, uh... Well, we have life of support. Of emergency but power, but it's code-locked. Site 1 issued go individual out. security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Smart. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Um, why do I have to, I was supposed to be scanning this? No. Oh. Duh. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. Oh, if you continue that... to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. Is that not what I was supposed to scan? I guess it wasn't, but uh, it worked. Oh, it's that data pad for the code. This is terminal. Log in, botany, consult, Alice in May, new entry. What are you hiding, Eos? The plants exhibit sporadic hypergrowth despite an environment that can send last paint. I'm starting to suspect an electromagnetic trigger. I detected a signal of some kind. Definitely alien, but that's not my field. Uncertain if deliberate vector noted. End log. Play audio log. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Man, that is just depressing. Anyways, let's get the codes. And, Got a uh, code lock key. That should help get us in. Yeah, let's, uh, let's leave. Can I scan you? You look like a scan. Guess not. Hey, look, water. Let's uh, let's go for a swim. I honestly didn't think it would let us. Don't I have to um, restore power too? Oh, I guess I do that here. Listen to this. Um. Salvage. Nice. Cool. Money. Money's always nice. Sometimes. Sometimes it's not nice. Message for Nick Th Thaniopolis. I don't know how to say that right. Anyways, people are talking here. Saying that EOS isn't viable, that things aren't going like they expected. I think you should come back. I know what you're going to say. I didn't sign up for the initiative to stay trapped in a floating tin can. And I promise, you can have your adventure, later, when they've had more time to plan for your safety. Mom told me to make sure you don't get in over your head, and that's what I'm doing. At least think about it for me, and check in more often. I've started to adopt Mom's worry. Already chewed through the nail of my pinky finger. It's up to you whether I keep the rest of my nails intact. Love you. Hello? Sorry to bug you again. I requested an update on Leah Wells a few days ago, and I haven't heard anything back on... On my end, it looks like the message wasn't even open. Is everything okay there? Get back to me as soon as you can and tell Leah to message me back. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna think it's safe to assume she dead. She dead. She never got that message. Um 
Well, let's just turn the power back on. I don't really know what else there is to do. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Does it? So we're not the only one that's interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Sandstorm radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthing girls on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna. Um. Well, if it helps, you were right. Though I feel like it doesn't. I feel like I feel like you probably don't like that. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in the Eos' atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not. Uh, Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile oh. of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Well, you just know right. everything, don't we you? Get it running? Maybe build it's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Uh, do we really need to get into these buildings, though? I mean, is there anything really valuable? Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept, then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. Okay, who the hell are you when I don't so like you're a salvager. Power. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. But Eos could be safe. Is it smarter to hide and hope? Or take a chance that might save this whole planet? I remember when people used to talk like that. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Very intimidating thing to say for a man hiding behind the door. Expect trouble when we start the generators. Wait, where are the generators? There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual that... input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. He says after I've already done that. The generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's... Really? Ryder? <laughs> I forgot that he'd actually say something if you went up there. Generator yeah, interface anyways. possible. Location marked. Sorry I interrupted Sam. That guy's not supposed to be here. He's supposed to be in the hangar on the Nexus. We've got company. <sighs> really? Sounds surprised by that, but literally told you they'd show up if you did something. I kind of like this gun. I don't know if I like it more than the Avenger, but I kind of like it. This guy just could not catch a break, could he? First I throw him down the entire cliff thing. And then when he gets up, I just slam him into the ground. I almost thought about feeling bad. Hey, look, stuff. No, that's, uh, that's useless to me. Just more money. Yeah, some of the items you can get are literally only useful to sell. You took down all those cat. Sure, use the power relay. 
Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. And you didn't take it? Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. You buy and sell things. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? Cool, I'm gonna go ahead and sell all of my salvage, and I think that's it. I don't really think I have anything else I want to sell right now. Wait, what's this? No. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't think I have anything I want to sell right now. Crazy blue. Power restored. We should have access to everything in site one now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Let's not forget what else happened on Habitat 7. This is powerful alien tech. We need to respect it. Go slow. For sure. We'll follow your lead. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. So if that structure could make a difference here, well, that would be really good. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Yeah, that, that might be a good idea. So in the cutscene, I'm walking away from the console. Now the power is restored, but we can investigate the nearby buildings. I get out of the cutscene facing it again? Wow, really innovative tech you got here. Why can't I just, you know, like, use the temp like, get on the Tempest wings? And use it to fly me there. Well, we got an assault rifle magazine. It's neat, I guess. Oh, we already have a new quest here. What? Why? How? Where are we getting it from? I gotta go up and get in that building. Ah, I bet this is one of those crafting missions. They give you missions to make things or whatever no i guess it's well just what do you know how this works the outpost research center is still intact updating what? the tempest on this critical recovery research was always key to the initiative we'll meet it here too this is vital this tech is how we survive in andromeda ingenuity on the ground someone else agrees this research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal this gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. Based on the fact that guy said crazy blue, I'm going to assume that it said Asari. And that's, you know, kind of awesome because I know. Online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Yeah, um, they want you to build a weapon. It doesn't matter, just any weapon. You've got to have some kind of research for it, though, so let's, uh, let's get it. The Charger SMG. And I don't know. Let's um. I don't know the Roserod SMG. I don't really know what's good. The Cat Carphalon. Dang, I should have made that. I actually kind of like that. I think it gives you health every time you um you kill some you hit something with it. Um. So yeah, let's make a weapon. Uh, let's make a melee. Um, I don't know. No, let's make it. Let's, let's make this. Make oh, I don't have the vanadium. Let's make the Carnifex pistol then. And there we go. There's lots of stuff in here that's supposed to give you resources. There's some Ezo. There's some whatever the hell this stuff is. Oh, that's salvage. There's a data pad. Login, senior foreman, Adriano Bonesca, I think is how that's said. Tried out the new pin design on the shelters today. Only time will tell if they actually hold together when the next storm rolls over. At least it should be easier to find the pieces this time. Shorty's pitching for an evac. 
back to the Nexus. Too many kid out, not enough water, no hope, he says. I'd rather sell supplies and sleep on the deck than lie awake listening to the storms one more night. Can't say I disagree, losing three of my guys to the cat made me wonder about leaving too. But I asked him what I asked myself. What's back on the Nexus for Pioneers? Isn't EOS what we signed on for? It has to be. End log. Okay. Wait, what am I supposed to be scanning? Wait, what? Oh, am I looking for the vehicle? Yeah, this is me looking for the vehicle. I, um... I think I know where it is. It's in here. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jet, just what you need. I don't think I can open I this might I'm talking. a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Oh. Okay. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Oh uh, yeah, and then they introduce you to this uh, this mechanic too. Forward stations. Basically what they do is they let you resupply just anywhere. They also act as fast travel points. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward I press the button to look into what might be there. Cool. Zoomed out. Oh yeah, and there's a terminal they have messages to. Forward, forward station protocol initiated. Um, and then it just gives data about the actual planet. And you know this is this is this is nice. You can read it if you want. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read it because there's, there's just Looks a like lot the there. Station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access and code. And it's honestly only really there if you want to learn more about the actual planet you're on. You don't really need much else to look or other than to look around and be like, oh yes, this is an arid desert-like planet that's being bombarded by a shit ton of radiation. And that's all you really need to know about it. And we're gonna make it better with the advent of the magical space magic. And, or ancient alien technology, whichever. So, uh, I'm just gonna say nothing and stare at it while it drives itself. What's a nomad normally looks like? I usually have it painted. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Uh, there, it works. Can I move now? See, this is why I prefer the Mako. The Mako could drive up that. Just to make out this ridiculous ability to drive up vertical cliff faces. We actually needed to go up there. Did we? I don't know. Let's try again. Got it. Signals that coming didn't from work. that structure up ahead. Well, let's just um, wiggle. Dude. I kind of lost my train of thought. Anyway, let's try that again. Yay, we made it. And there's conveniently placed radiation shielding here. Why? Because convenience. Plot device. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. <laughs> I'm just scanning the various things, seeing what they are, or, you know, not really. Actually, what are these? Oh yeah, these are the ones that freeze people. I guess I need to interact with this. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With yeah. more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. Yeah. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. Yeah, we, we, this, this is the part of the game you get, uh, you get alien Sudoku. Not, not only do you get alien Sudoku, but uh, you also have to find some of the symbols sometimes. 
So, uh, yeah, they, they, they basically said, go here, activate these things, but you can't just do it. You have to do this busy work, too. It's whatever. So initiative tech. Initiative tech. Symbol. Okay, let's solve this thing. Oh, was that the only one we needed? And, uh, not only do you have to do one of these on each planet, you have to do sometimes, like, three... Sometimes even four. In connection. I, I think you have to do four on EOS. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Hi. Back off, or I will push you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be alright. Trust me, okay? I don't, but... I know, I uh, know. Okay. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but... You're for real, huh? What about you? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. That's not a name. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. Well, it was green. I don't think it was going to shoot us. They're red when they're hostile, right? Oh, I forgot. That's not I know cool. These things from Habitat 7. Later! Just take them out! I don't know how to get out from them in the car. Keep targeting that one! They make a little Really? Didn't notice. And then this one is the observer. It shoots laser beams at you. And it's odd. Are you even hitting it? I don't think I'm even hitting it. Well, there we go. Look at that. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as PD. Well, it's good to meet you. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Oh, so, uh, that seems a bit convenient for you. You're sure it'll help EOS? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a little offended by that, Ryder. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. I mean, we could. We could blow it Here, up. Take my nav points. I'll be. I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Yeah, it's already almost been time for my timer to go off, and uh, it feels like we've accomplished next to nothing. What have I been doing? Like, what, what took so long? Really? It's probably all the reading and looking at planets. That does take a lot of time. Okay, which one's the closest one? Uh, I think this one, so let's just... Just got a waypoint to that. Radiation levels have spiked above my head. Let's just drive off this mountain here, too, right? 
imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here? So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. Are this is sure? our element. I'm really, really sure about that. Oh, that's a bug. Actually, no. That's, that's one of those cat ghost dogs. What's this? Oh, that's a bug. That's a spider, I think. Space spider. Spider space? Spider space. Yeah, no. Spider in space. Traction. It's too steep. What do you mean? Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. What? Is the game just not already aware that I've already done that? Oh, I hate that six wheel drive. It's so much slower. But it's necessary to get around sometimes. It's so much slower. Protocols activated. Th Deploying that's a... forward station. Hey, hey, what's going on here? This is a. This is like a little. Data key. Specialist engineer Aman Kathari. You gonna chase down by what he was studying? Person. No deaths were not recorded. The chief engineer halted reports to the Nexus. That sounds bad. But nothing on EOS sounds good. Wait, why did they stop the reports? Look there. That spot is shelter, water, stable ground. Wait, it what was where? initially overlooked due to heavy kept presence at the nearby. The Site 1 folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Wait, was I supposed to unlock her as a companion? Yet yeah, I forget. Radiation level. More remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. Uh, I think I might end the video here after activating this monolith. And then next time we'll pick it up and hopefully activate the vault. Actually, I don't think I don't think it's told us that that's what they're called yet. So. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but they're called Vault. I mean, that's not much of a spoiler, but... Yeah. Sorry, anyways. Um, is this... Do we actually get to play Alien Sudoku now? I detect a high level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To continue, you will need to decrypt it. Oh, right. I forgot I haven't scanned these yet in this playthrough. What do we have here? It is a console. I'll need to use the interface that controls this. That did it. Yeah, it seems like it did do it. Hey, look, there's one of those weird things. There's the glyph. There's the weird thing. Is there any more glyphs? Any yeah, there's one more glyph apparently. Where could it be? Wait, what, what did I... What could I scan? Okay, so it's up there. I think we need to activate you. Interface successful, Pathfinder. Really? I, uh, I thought it didn't work. You know, what was it working and all? So yeah, now we get to um, now we get to uh, play Alien Sudoku after looting this corpse. Fun, fun way to spend time. And that's the timer. So yeah, we're going to end it after activating this monolith. Um, so let's see what's in here. We got that. We got that. We got that. So we don't have that. 
which means that this one is this one and this one is I think this one yes um, and this one is no yes and this one is that one and no no yes no 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 yes there we go interface accepted yeah that's alien sudoku for you i don't know if i'm going to do all of those on that camera did. because whatever that did i see pathways lighting up all over the monoliths are resonating QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. I don't know if I'm going to do all of those on camera because they're basically all Can't the same, it. but just different Seriously? looking ones. Can't catch a break. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to kill these cat and then wrap things up. Because the timer went off and, you know, I don't really want to go much faster. We haven't scared of cat bodies either. I should probably do that before I forget. I don't know, I guess we scanned them. We didn't scan them. Is just me? Or do cats seem to appear everywhere we find remnant tech? It's just you. You're paranoid. I was just thinking the same thing. Okay, well. I'm gonna save it since we can actually save the game now. And then after it saves, that's it. That's going to be the end of the video. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good day.